Hello, welcome back to the Gaming Corner. I'm KG. And I'm Twilight. And today we are going to do another moment. Yeah. And we are and doing all of them. We're almost all done, too. We're all you know, on done. this step. Step one is yeah. almost done. It's Three almost more. done. Um, so, and then yeah. after after we've done all the modes, we're gonna before in one beginning of before we're gonna um, what uh, in the uh, sorry okay <laughs> what was I saying okay I was saying I okay I was saying when we reach the end when all the moments are gone we're gonna have a more like a, our own tier list not 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 like an online tier list that everyone's been doing not that um, but like a tier list of um, moments that we played in this moment so far. All right. Yeah. As like, uh, cool. oh yeah. How do we rate um the moments? So, so yeah. Yeah, that'd um, be cool. Yeah, that'd be it. It'd be fun. Before before we move on to the summer, then the summer ended. Yeah. Okay. All right. So last t- last episode we did a DLC. So I'm thinking we should do a base game. Yeah, and then it's my turn to choose, yeah. right? Yep. So I guess um we'll choose Sandcastle. Sandcastle. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cope wasn't able to do many things that summer. When you, him, and Shiloh sat down out on the shoreline on the bright on one bright morning, you could tell that he wanted to be in the water. I forgot Shiloh existed in this stuff. Really? I forgot. Maybe it's been because we haven't seen him in the last moment. And I'm like Maybe. Yeah. And I then guess the, so. actually in the last two mo in the last two moments because like it was shopping. Oh, and then yeah. it's barbecue and I did not see Shiloh anywhere. Like oh, only yeah. me- he, he don't, there's he's only mentioned one time and that's it. Like, for you. For you. But I forgot but he But for exi- me? I oh, forgot. I remembered. I forgot. I remembered yeah. he existed. It's just that, you know. <laughs> he I guess he's not that relevant. Maybe it's because I really need to know Shallow in the I don't know, maybe this is like a tangent where it's like I need to know a character that was from another game to know his personality. Or at least yeah, get to know him so. more. Maybe that's why. Maybe like next time um will like you do the game with him in it but we already have a game already have a game plan for what's after like our life oh already. yeah so no, i'm just but we're, we're not gonna else. say it we're not gonna say yeah. it now but yeah not now later but there, okay <laughs> um but there's no way he'd be swimming anytime soon not with his cast god i would have hate, hated that if i couldn't go anywhere because of a stupid of cast injury yeah Especially when you're a kid, too. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure it'd be horrible. Yeah. Um, the waves he's washed a single shell to shore, glittering blue, and other remainder of places he couldn't go. From what you'd heard, of, heard about Code's old life so far, in tiny pieces and fragments, you can tell that he would do anything to be able to get that cast off. You would cut it off himself if he could. <laughs> no, that's not good. No, if he cuts good. off the cast, then that's bad. It's bad. You thought about how the summer or last year would have been different from this with his old home and his mom and dad. But now he was here with you, Shal and Lizzie and everyone else, and he couldn't even go in the sea. The town it wasn't bad, it would had all your favorite things in it. But still sitting there on the same beach you'd grown up on this uh, you'd grown up on and you could understand that not everyone else felt the same way about Sunset Bird as you did. You watch him from the corner of your eye quietly, and he finally said aloud what you've been pondering. I wish I could go in. Water? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. You're gonna be able to do it soon. Go holy sighed in response. Apparently soon wasn't good, wasn't enough. It's so pretty, the ocean. Hmm. And huge. There could be any anything out there, like mermaids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. I wish you didn't have the kiss. I don't really care. Swimming might be fun if we could. I'm fine. You're on land. Mermaids aren't real. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Either. How dare you destroy my dream? <laughs> okay. How dare you destroy Cove's dreams like that? And yeah. Um. Um. More. I wish you didn't have a cast. <laughs> yeah. I wish you didn't have a cast too. Yep. Me too. Obviously not interested in hearing much more of your input on the situation. Coach turned to, to the wa- back to the water. Frick. 
But he, as he looked away, something about Shell's slow, careful movement caught his eye. Hey, are you building a sandcastle? Um, sort of. I was only playing around while you were talking. I'm listening. Mm, maybe I could too. I only made big piles before. It's really nothing special. I'm sure you'll be good at it right away. Well, how do you do it then? Shallow's cheeks lit up. You can tell he was a little uncomfortable to have Ko's expectation and to stare on him. I'll play too. I love making sand stuff. I've never really made one before. There's nothing else to do. Um, there's nothing else to do. There's nothing else to do, yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He put his hands on back to the seashells and said and nodded. I don't do a lot. Here's how I like to get a house started. Shell looked focusedly more intently than you've ever seen him. Got to go through the, his process. Happily you, you use your own method. It didn't take long for the three of you to have each so these have humble structures prepared. That's all, kind of. You can do anything now. Like, make it bigger. Add some seashells. Carve a pretty pattern. I bet you'll have a great you'll have great ideas. Okay. I'm gonna make it bigger. Mine is gonna be a real castle. Cool. Cool. This is gonna be a house. Looking at the base of your sand castle, you decided to make a house, a castle, a mansion. Um hmm. Castle? Mansion? Um, Let's just make a mansion. We we'll just make a mansion. Yeah, different from everybody. I just realized how big this beach is. Yes. It's so really big, and I'm like, what the fuck? Looking at the base of your sandcastle, you decided to design a mansion. The better part of your next hour was spent focusing on your own work. The boys were the same. Even Shao didn't speak as many as didn't speak as many peaks at everyone else as he usually did. You finished shaping before either of them did, glancing up from what you'd built. It seemed that you've done so fast because they already searched around for extra decorations. Shell had grabbed most of, of the really interesting stuff, and Cope had a lot of shells, but there were still options. The first thing you reached for was... Red bottle cap, blue seashell, green piece of sea glass. Oh god. Um, I don't know what sea glass is. Hold on, I don't know what that is. Uh, I think I know what those are. Uh, sea glass. It just looks like gl glass, right? Yeah, and it's usually green too. And I always thought those glass. pieces of sea glass came from like broken bottle or something. Same. I thought that was just because my parents would be like, "Don't touch the glass," and I'm like, "Okay." But yeah, then I'm like, they're usually sharp. They just look like stones, but they're like really transparent and colorful. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you don't you don't usually find sea glass a lot, so yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so which one are so we? So you want you want sea glass or the blue shell? I don't care um, for the red bottle cap, honestly. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you can find red bottle caps everywhere, but yeah, I, I don't know. really care. Blue seashell, a uh, green piece of sea glass. Um, hmm. I like the blue seashell. Yeah, same. Blue seashell it is. It was the best fit for your mansion, you decided. The blue coast reminded you of the clear water. So you displayed it in front and center, making it a headline feature of your whole thing. Please, with your result, you finally took a proper look around that wasn't in focus on the sand itself. Both Cove and Charles seemed super er, immersed still. You could you knew you could probably sneak a peek at either one's work. You check out Coach. Uh, you check out Coach's sandcast. You check out Chilo's sand house. You decided not to look. Hmm. Don't know. Don't know. Um. Uh, hmm. Want to check out Coach's or like? Yeah, sure. Let's look at Coach's. Yeah. 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 Okay. You check out Cove's sand, uh, uh, sand castle. The castle Cove had built looked 
surprisingly tidy, especially for someone in a cast. He must have worked really hard. He wasn't even finished digging the huge gaping moat in front, but it was already enormous. He got the sense from enthusiasts and that he was digging in with that, but the doctor was probably going to find a bunch of sand when he finally removed the pink plaster. Silence was then broken. What's on top of your Shiloh? You picked over and discovered something shiny sticking out of Shiloh's sand chimney. Oh, it's just a gum wrapper. It looks like smoke. Neat. It's good. That's smart. Yeah, I didn't think of that. I guess I don't see it. You should be an architect. Kind of looks like more like a worm. Um. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah, I didn't think of that. You really know a lot about this. Smile is, it'll smile without a word. And that was that for the current topic. Sheena, can I see what you did? Sure. He scooted over, scooted just a bit near and began surveying your work. All you really knew about matches was that they were supposed to be big, big, and so you really gone really big. It was the size of the country club that Lizzie played golf at compared to to Cove and Shiloh's buildings, probably even bigger. Shiloh quickly decided to jump into in the new conversation. Hey, Sheena, what did you do? It, it's a mansion. I was supposed to say this first. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. Your house is so big. It's not a big house. It's a mansion. I guess mansions are just really big houses. Thanks. You just looked at him. Thanks. I guess mansions are really like big houses, or just big houses, honestly. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Are we picking that, or? I don't know. I, I, just, I just say thanks. <laughs> thanks. I guess we're randomizing it. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's four, right? So, four. Um, one. It's not a big house, it's a mansion. <laughs> Alright. I guess. It's- is being a house bad? No. No, but we each made our own place. Nobody's is the same. I think we are. Cole raised an eyebrow at that. If something is the only one of that thing, that makes it special. Yeah, for sand castles and stuff. People too. My dad always says how everyone is their own man, a real individual. Mm, I don't think I'm very special. Okay, don't say that. Oh, that's sad. I know. Why? Why not? Nobody else is you. Charles simply looked, shook his head. I'm not different. A beat passed between the two. Cove then looked down at his own work again. Mm, okay. He didn't seem to be bothered leaving the disagreement hanging there. Cove had other things on his mind. My dad tried to get me to make sandcastles the first time we came to this beach. Mm. I didn't want to. Go trailed off again. There was another moment of silence. Charles shifted his open mouth to say something, but Cove spoke up before he could. He didn't and think he'd notice Shiloh was going to talk. Hey, do you know what happened when your mom's met my dad, Sheena? You cocked your head, thinking about it briefly. I wasn't there. They didn't tell me. I just remember what happened when I met your dad. Mr. Holden had been a and a weird stranger then. Well, he's still kind of <laughs> of strange. Not a power act like him, but you knew him better at this point. Now that you thought about it, it made a lot of sense that Ko's dad talked to him about people being unique. You pulled you were pulled from your nostalgic talks and thoughts when Ko continued. Oh. Oh well I was there. I don't think my mom has met your dad. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she hasn't. Sheena's parents and my dad met the same day I met her. Uh, I'm gonna say- I'm gonna say what happened. Shadow frowned to himself, ducking his head, his- his hat cast over Shadow over to- You'd still tell he was upset about not being included in Ko's choice of topic. That was kind of boring for him, though giving people their own turn to say things was- Things, uh, they want to- on is important too. Frick, I kind of stumbled on that. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and, and okay, um, you stayed silent. And, like, Cove finished his story. I think Shallow wants to talk to you. Oh my god, I don't know. I guess we're randomizing it. 
Ooh, we only can't tell. <laughs> can't tell. We're randomizing it, but I yeah, know. we are. We are randomizing it. All right, and we trust each other enough to randomize stuff. Um, I know. I mean, I mean, it's just that sometimes when we randomize some, I mean, you know, that randomizer thing, when it has the same amount or whatever, and you click on the same number or whatever, and you just don't know if you click the random or not. Oh yeah, it's right. <laughs> Yeah, um, I guess we're going with one. Okay. Apparently. And I clicked on it two times and it still stayed on one. And I'm like, okay, apparently we're, we want one. So, yeah. You say it silent and let Cove finish the story. Jella could talk about old stuff after Cove had a chance to share what he planned on. When we moved here, we didn't bring a lot of things with us. Only some stuff we could fit in Dad's car. We didn't even get a moving truck. Oh, I sat there while Dad brought it all inside. Mm. I didn't want to get out because I knew Dad would make me look around the new house, and I really didn't want to do that. The lisp was into a frown as he recalled that. Then I saw your moms. They were in the car too and stopped at your house. I guess they were coming back from some or something my dad knows waved his head and then went over to the front of your house where he st he started talking to them i didn't know what they said i couldn't hear but he couldn't see me anymore since he was looking the other way so i opened the car door and left i wanted to get away and went behind the houses i found those hills there the ones where we met the first time hmm Cove nodded, then stared at you. You stared back. You didn't want to say anything more. What? That's all that you wanted to say? Cove's owl wrinkled, he, like he didn't understand why you were surprised. Huh? That's all that happened. Okay. Why didn't you t want to tell the story if nothing happened? You were gonna get- you gotta really get better at telling stories. That was a pretty bad story, thanks for telling me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's say thanks for telling me. Yeah, I guess so. Because, like, yeah. it's all, it's sure. it's all, all the so If it was me, I would be saying, okay. <laughs> I want to be nice and be like, thanks okay. for telling me. Yeah. Sure, let's do that. Let's do that. You're welcome. <laughs> Even if it's not much, you weren't going to complain about knowing the story. Chala's mouth twisted into a scowl of disbelief, but he said nothing. Why'd you bring that up anyway? It was a slight shrug of cold shoulders. Well... I was thinking about because of the sandcastle. It made me remember when I moved, moved to here. Dad showed me the beach first before we went and back to the car to unpack. He was really excited about it for some reason. Cole's brows furred a little more as he quietly raked, raked his hands through the sand. I get it. You thought maybe Mr. Holden wasn't that excited about the beach and you weren't and was instead hoping Cove might be. But the line of conversation come to an end, even in, in Cove was done with it. Some other topic had popped into his head. Jal fidgeted around uncomfortably in the sand and had made Cove aware of his presence again. They looked at each other and you could only wonder what uh, this might be about. Hey Shiloh. Yeah? Why are you always turning red, even nothing, uh, even when nothing is happening? Kali is startled. He jerked back. Neither of you or Shiloh had expected to be, be how he got included in the conversation again. I don't know. I guess. Okay. It's kind of weird. Cove! <laughs> don't say <laughs> oh, wow. that. That's mean. I know. Cove, Shiloh's eyes were wide in embarrassment. Foot and his lips twitched, and he was blushing even harder than before. Maybe it wasn't only this, perhaps it was simply the last straw, but it was a big deal to Shiloh, a huge deal. And he just didn't lose, like he just almost seemed panicked. I'm not sure if he was about to cry or run away or what, but you soon got an answer. Why do you wear glasses? Most kids don't wear glasses, and nobody's named Ko. Wow. Where's you to come? Whoa! Wow, that's random. He, Whoa, he just Shiloh. his 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 outburst is even worse than the one I played. <laughs> Who asked oh. you to come? It was probably just your dad bugging Sheena's family. 
some more because you don't have anyone else who will pl ever play with you. Dude. <laughs> yeah, same. I'm just like, look at face. And I'm like, what is happening? Cole blinked. The tension on the beach was suddenly uncomfortable in a way that you didn't know how to move past. It didn't seem like the kind of thing he'd get upset about, though you hadn't and ever known what kind of thing would bother Shiloh. <sighs> I'm sorry. Me too. I was just wondering. Uh... Hey, let's build another sand cups. We tried to play on your own. Are we gonna build some more? You universally mess with the sand. I don't know. This is such a awkward... This is so awkward. This I would so be awkward. all like, ah, I, I guess we're randomizing it. Mess with it. the sand. <laughs> I would. I guess we might randomize it because it's yeah. so awkward at this point. Yeah. Um. I guess we're nervously messing with the sand. Yeah. Yep. That's me. You picked up some sand and turned it over to your hands. There didn't seem to be much you could do to stop the fight, and you weren't sure what to do with yourself. Gov looked over at you and what you were doing and started to build his building his own set of walls. Child took a breath, breath before kneeling back to his own patch of sand. It seemed they both decided to try playing again. You were glad for that. You all went back to making more sand buildings, but the whole mood had changed. Child's shooting was clearly gone, and Cove looked as confused as ever about why the other boy had blown up. The yeah. air stayed uncomfortable for the rest of the afternoon, right up to the moment where that mom Shiloh appeared at the beach to take him home. Cove and Shiloh had mostly followed Ojo lead in and barely said a word. His mom standing behind him, even Shiloh's goodbye had been quiet yet friendly, cheerful, but noticeably quiet. But with Shiloh gone and the sun going down, you knew it was time for, and for you and Shiloh to head back to your own houses. So you led the way on the path back home. I forgot how really cool it is that you can just walk to the beach and just like yeah, go home. Yeah, that's like pretty much your backyard. Yeah. I would love to have, like live close like that. Just like, just walk to the beach yeah. if you want to. Probably if I lived near the beach, I would be less afraid of water. That'd yeah. be nice. But you know, I have I almost died, so it's fine. <laughs> like if I was near the beach, I would be more inclined to go out more because of yeah, like the same. atmosphere. True. Yeah. But you know, it's expensive to live in places like that, so it yeah. is. Yeah. And it's hard. And I'm like, how do people make a living and just like live there? But whatever. Yeah. Um Yeah. The home and the they have a playground too. Yeah, like, they have a playground on the beach. That's so very rich. <laughs> very rich. I'm like, how expensive are people living here? I'm like, yeah. And it's a small town too. It so is. I'm like, I don't think it's that expensive to live in a small town. Yeah, I but guess like, so. Well, yeah. Anyways, um, the walk home was quiet. You passed by familiar landmarks, shoes thumping against the sidewalk in near perf in near perfect unison. Cope was clearly caught up in thinking about something. You asked what Cope was thinking. You stay silent. Um. Uh, I would ask. I would ask, ask too. I would ask him too. You asked Cope what he was thinking. You didn't want to leave it hanging in the air, so you decided to just ask. Why are you making that face? Oh. Oh, I was just wondering. Cope fell silent again for a few seconds, then sighed. Hmm. Why did Shiloh act like that when I was, when he said he was all red and a lot? And mm what? -hmm. Uh, okay, um, you're being rude to you. You're, he's just being a baby. You shouldn't make fun of him. I don't know. It's just Shiloh. He gets embarrassed. You shrug. I got called with no answer to give. Um, uh, you were being rude to him. Yeah, I would just be like, I don't know. You were being rude to him. Yeah. No, I wasn't. It looked like that to me, and it wasn't just saying that one thing. You're not very nice to Shiloh. I didn't mean it like that. Shiloh is kind of weird to talk to. Yeah, that's true, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that's true. See? That's kind of rude. Mm, I guess I can get it. Like, why would he do that? Sometimes I what? really get mad. Why, he would, do why that? he would do that. Sometimes I get really mad, too. Despite seemingly coming to conclusions, Cove's mood was still sour. Um, hey Sheena, was Shiloh telling the truth? Huh? 
His gaze left yours as he dug the sole of his shoe into the ground. He looked oddly vulnerable for a second. Does my dad make you hang out with me? I know he talks to your moms a lot about that a lot. An uncomfortable weight settled on your chest at the question. You liked spending time with Ko. You didn't even have to think about how think hard about it. You knew you you knew you did. But it couldn't but you couldn't help but feel guilty. Ko still didn't know what happened when you met Mr. Holden. Nobody's making me spend time with you. Your dad does do stuff uh, so we'll hang out with my family, but Charlie shouldn't have said that. Decided to tell uh, no, 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 no one's making me spend time with you. Cole shows relaxed. You hadn't no even noticed he that he tensed up. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Ah. Anyway, I didn't think you were pretending. I just wanted to make sure it was all. It was okay. Is all. Thanks. Thanks for telling me. You took tight it. It was hard to meet Cove's earnest gaze again. Keeping secrets was hard. It's no problem, Cove. But now, the two of you were on the sidewalk near your houses. It was time to part ways. You said goodbye, you hugged Cove, you nodded Cove's shoulder. <laughs> I wanna hug him! I wanna hug, hug him! him. <laughs> <laughs> Hugging him. You hugged Cove goodbye. You stepped forward and wrapped your arms around him tightly. You turned your head, resting your cheek on his shoulder. Cove stood awkwardly with his hands at his sides. He wasn't much of a hugger, but you didn't get the impression he was unhappy that you were. Bye, Cove. See you tomorrow. Yeah, bye, Sheena. You pulled away, then jogged towards your house. When you looked back, you saw Cove making his way back home, too, as if it felt like your eyes were on, eyes on him. He turned around, he waved, you did, too. You still felt unsure with what you were supposed to do about uh, the deal, the deal Cozad had offered. He didn't want to say something bad or say something he shouldn't. He had no idea how Co would take it either. It would be terrible if you made him feel bad. What if he didn't want to play with you anymore? You might change your mind sometime. There was always tomorrow after all, but for now it was definitely something that you had kept to yourself. With a final look, you went inside your house. And that's the end. That's it. I forgot. It's, that yeah, was I pretty short. short. That was. Yeah, that was I like, guess it is kind of short. Yeah, it's shorter than you know, but it was whatever. Shorter than last it's fine. One. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It was a I good mean, a moment. It was as short as um the ghost story one, I think. Yeah, I think so. So hopefully it's not over like um thirty minutes. Like it's probably going to be over, a little bit over thirty minutes, or at least yeah. less than forty minutes for this one. Yeah, because of us like talking and stuff, but yeah, yeah. yeah well, um, I guess that's it. Yeah, it was a it's pretty fine. like it, it was like um bittersweet in the end. Yeah, I mean yeah, Shiloh, end, was, you know. Yeah, with Shiloh and stuff, it was bittersweet, and um, yeah, it's kind of sad to like. And see it feels that. longer with Shiloh. Yeah, it feels longer. Was it with my Shiloh. version? As um, Shiloh did um point up about you know did snap, but it's not as intense as um this one. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I think mine was like kind of new, same thing where it's like he did snap, but not at, at an extreme rate. Yeah, he snapped. I guess it's because yeah. we played um a lot more, more yeah. moments, and then he just added in more stuff. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Like, um, if it, yeah, a lot of people don't know we actually also play this game <laughs> behind the scenes. That's N not. We already explained ourselves. Yeah, the first we already time, played right? this game enough behind the scenes that's not for recording purposes just yeah. so that we can have fun i'm also like helping with um you know with playing the beta game as well with oh, yeah. the beta version as well behind yeah, the scenes fun. so and i'm not spoiling anything but yo yo it's worth it it's worth the money for this dlc that's yeah. about to come out next this coming friday i can't wait I yeah. even though I don't know, I'm depending not, on yeah. when this episode's gonna be come out, it'll probably already be out. Who knows? 
Yeah. Um, it's probably gonna be out by the time like this episode is like um yes. uploaded. But it's yeah. Yeah. Woo-hoo. I guess that's it for yeah. this episode. We're almost yeah. done. Two We're more almost to go. Done. Two, Two more to more. go. Two more, and then we go to the summer ended. But before summer ended, we are gonna be doing the tier list thing. Again, yes. like I said before. Um, when I uh, messed up in what I was trying to say, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So now what? Um, outro. I guess I go. I, I, oh yeah, outro. Outro. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. If you like this game, just support the creator. There's the link stuff below and blah blah blah. Patreon and then there's Discord also if you wanna. Wait, there's a Discord, right? Yeah, I think <laughs> yeah. I have Discord yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, that. And also, what else? Um, um please like stuff. and subscribe for more <laughs> oh yeah 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 like subscribe whatever and, and yeah. also comment down below what you oh yeah like. comment right yeah we also never really too. have comments on the video you but know it fine. just doesn't matter you just do do you do, do you, whatever, whatever you want, you, want. you could do whatever drink water drink water drink from water. La- drink tons of water it's good just for you. water drink <laughs> enough water be hydrated yes it's- yeah anyway anyway uh, um, that's it Yep. Thank, Thank you. you for watching. Goodbye. Bye.